Hello again, grade 4. Today, let us talk about God's truth in a world of lies. Are you ready? Let's start. Let us look into some examples on how lying is evident in this generation. For example, underage children setting up profiles on Facebook even though they are not yet allowed. Everyone struggles with lying. People don't tell the truth to avoid getting caught and lie under pressure. Lying can become a habit that is hard to stop. Even worse, it can become second nature to the point that people lie and make excuses for doing so. In this lesson, you shall be able to explain why lying is a sin, define what the Bible says about lying, and ask God to help you tell the truth even when it is difficult. Our key verse for this lesson is on Acts 5 verses 1 to 11. And keep Ephesians 4 verse 25 in your hearts which says, We are part of the same body. Stop lying and start telling each other the truth. Because God loves truth tellers. Do you know that lying can become a habit that is hard to stop? The Bible tells about different people who lied with different reasons. To hide guilt, to escape danger, and because of fear. The first lie in the world is found in Genesis. Satan, in the form of a serpent, tempted Eve to eat the fruit of the tree, which was against God's command. You will not die, Satan lied. Adam and Eve believed the lie and sin entered the world. You should be careful because Satan, the father of lies, affected God's perfect creation forever. Another story is found in the book of Acts. Some believers had sold all their land and possessions, bringing the money to the apostles to give to the needy in the church. A couple, Ananias and Sapphira, also sold their possessions, but they decided to keep part of the money for themselves. This was not wrong. They had every right to do it. However, they wanted the people to think they gave all their money. The apostle Peter, who was filled with the power of the Spirit, knew instantly that Ananias was lying, not just to him, but to God. And he exposed his sin then and there. Ananias fell down and died. When Sapphira showed up, she too lied to Peter and to God, saying that they had donated the entire proceeds of the sale of the land to the church. When her lie had been exposed, she also fell down and died at Peter's feet. When you lie, you will probably not drop dead, but it is still the same sin Ananias and Sapphira did. God's word is clear. Lying is a sin. Liars will be punished because they will not make it to heaven. White lies and small omissions are still lies. We are not perfect because, by nature, people are sinful. But we should always strive to live honest, open lives that are pleasing to God. Do you believe that honesty pays off? Let us look at the kind act of Nestor Solpico. He is a taxi driver in New York. He found a set of black pearls worth $75,000, which is worth 3.5 million pesos during that time inside his taxi. He immediately returned them. Nestor's act of honesty was all over the news. He became famous and even appeared in the Oprah Winfrey show. People admire him not only for his honesty, but also for his hard work and humility. Nestor said, I feel that I have become a role model for the younger generations. Today, we learned what is God's truth in a world full of lies. Did you learn something? I hope you do. If ever you have questions, feel free to message me or leave a comment on the comment section below. And to test out, 
what you have studied, answer pages 11 to 12, A and B, and check the classwork for specific instructions. Thank you so much, grade 4, and see you again.